All right, so I figured I'd do a quick little video on uh, what I use to sleep on at night. Um, for the longest time, I actually went with nothing and would just sleep on the ground when I got there, just bring a sleeping bag with me. Um, the more trips I've been doing, the more we're doing more difficult trips now, longer portages. When I get to my tent at night, like I want, I want something to sleep on. It's, it's nice to have a pad to sleep on and kind of gives you a little bit of life for your next day anyways. So, uh, new gift. It was actually a birthday gift and it is made by Thermarest. It's called, uh, the Neo Air Trekker. Folds up into a tube about this big, that size pretty small that's actually not as tight as it can go I obviously didn't do a very good job rolling it last time but in comparison to my sleeping bag both of these two very small items there's no foam on the inside it's all filled with air uh, I was a little bit concerned about this in the beginning because sometimes when you've got air inside an air mattress, it can tend to bubble on one end or the other. I have not had that experience with this so far. This has been actually awesome ever since I got it. I've slept amazing every single night, including one night on the Steel River where uh, Noah and I ended up camping on sheer rock. Uh, this thing kept me elevated off the ground and I wouldn't have even known. Like You can literally sleep on anything provided it's not sharp you don't want to puncture a hole in this so you do have to be a little bit careful you don't want to be you know you want to maybe feel the ground first before you actually go I mean you do that for your tent anyways uh, you don't want to puncture a hole in your tent so it's not much of a uh, an extra step there and uh, you don't really want to be kneeling on anything sharp anyways so part of the regular check this thing has been awesome so far uh, I've counted that like uh, I was under the opinion impression that it took me about 30 breaths to blow this up except for last night it was about 40 uh so somewhere between 30 or 40 breaths i do feel a little lightheaded by the end but it's well worth the good rest and they do make things they make a small little pump that you can buy that attaches on the end to blow it up via battery uh or they've got this air bag that like you use to scoop air and then attach one end onto here and you kind of squish the bag and the air goes into here, which is apparently better than using your breath anyways because with your breath, you get a little bit of moisture inside the actual uh, the actual mat. So over storage and stuff like that, maybe sometimes not all the moisture gets out and it can create mold inside, which isn't great, but they, they do still say that you can use your breath. So um, I'm using my breath. I didn't want to buy the pump or the bag. But uh, yeah, so that's this and I'll... Uh, I'll show you once it's pumped up. All right, so that is the Neo Air Trekker. It's the Trekker version, uh, which to my knowledge is a little bit thinner. Uh, so there's not really much room to roll around on this, which I'm fine with. I'd rather it pack up small and just give me like a solid body width of uh, coverage. Um, this thing went for about 130 bucks Canadian. And uh, yeah, it's been an awesome purchase ever since. I mean, gets you up about uh, two, an inch and a half off the ground. I think it said advertised two inches, but um, yeah, very, very even, very comfortable. Yeah, I've got no nothing bad to say about it. The breaths is probably the only downside and I don't even mind that so I wouldn't necessarily say it's the worst downside other than that it's a very comfortable mat does me exactly what I need for my trip geez I could probably fall asleep right now I'm so tired just kidding I stopped to make dinner I'm still excited curry's on the menu tonight so I'm pretty excited about that but yeah that's the uh, Neo Air Neo Air Trekker uh it's pretty much everything you need to know